Welcome to Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be working on a short masculine shape that's asymmetrical. Gives you a lot of styling options, a lot of versatility, and it works on a lot of different types of hair. So to get started, what we're going to do is go through and separate the top of the head from the bottom of the head. We're going to start at the center of the recession, straight back to where a quarter part would be to the top of the ear. We're going to angle that down and section out the bottom where it gets flat. This is going to be the parietal ridge, which separates the top from the bottom. Now I'm going to go through and start cutting this underneath short. So I'm going to take an angle that's going to be parallel to my front hairline, which is also going to be parallel to the hairline behind the ear. Plant my fingers, put my fingers in. I'm going to leave it a little longer at the top of this section and a little shorter underneath. And I'm using my Osaka scissor from Jatai. This is a nice, long, solid blade that gives me a nice point, but not too pointy that I poke myself, and the blade's nice and sharp. The sharper the blade is, the less it's going to push the hair in your hand. There's my line from underneath. Shorter at the hairline, a little longer at the top. Now again, I'm not worried about this being absolutely perfect right now. I'm just following the pattern and getting this length cut off. Second section and my third section. There's my guide from underneath. Cut that down and through. And you can start to see my graduation developing. After I get to this section right here behind the ear where the mastoid is, then I can determine if I need to go shorter or if I've gone too short. So I'm looking at that, and I think that that can definitely go a little bit shorter. So what I'm going to go through and do is I'm going to scissor over comb. I'm going to start low, cut that across. Go up about the width of the scissor, cut that short, cut that short, cut that short, and I'm working on creating the same type of shape I was cutting earlier, which is shorter at the bottom, longer at the top. Now I'm just doing it in my comb horizontally as opposed to in my hand, which was vertically. The more scissor strokes that I take as I do my scissor over comb, and the more I fine tune it, the smoother that that will be. So now I want to change my approach because I'm going shorter than what my fingers will allow me. So I'm going to start here in the back. Take my first cut, my second cut, my third cut. Now I've removed a lot of that hair very, very quickly. And I can start to fine tune my shape from there. As long as I don't cut too short, it's easy to start to fine tune. Come in at an angle, scissor over comb that up and out. Now that I've got all that long hair cut off, I'm going to go through and start to really fit in and fine tune my scissor over comb shape. And a couple of key pointers. I'm going to start lower than I think. I'm going to make sure one blade is moving as I start low and then continue to fine tune that up and out. Now I'm just going to continue to do this until I have the entire underneath tapered in. Follow us on your favorite social media at Jatai Feather. I've sectioned the top of the head into three. I've taken the quarter part, which is going to separate the front from the back of the head, and I've also gone through, since I felt like that was too much hair and too much head to worry about blending back here, I've taken the drop crown. This is going to section out all the hair that's going to blend in the back. So I'm going to take an angle that's parallel to my previous parting. Now I'm going to go through and use my feather plie razor. This is a guardless razor just a straight blade. It gives me the most control, the cleanest cut, and it allows me to get delicate little sections that's hard to control with any other type of razor. 
pulling this over to the side where I can see the underneath line. And then I'll go through and cut that down and through. So now from here, I'll just continue that on until I get about halfway to the center and run out of hair and do the same thing on the other side. Continue to pull that over. There's my line underneath. Take a nice broad stroke. The stroke that I take with the razor should be the same and as consistent as possible through every section of the back. Last section on this side, pull that out and forward towards the previously cut hair. Take the same broad razor stroke I was doing to keep everything nice and soft. If I get a little longer here underneath, clean that up. And that's not looking too bad. Now I'm gonna go through and do the same thing on the other side. Now, whenever I'm cutting with the razor, I always prefer to use Jatai Blade Glide over water. It makes the hair much easier to control and allows the blade to glide across the section to give me a cleaner cut. I'm gonna go through and do the same thing I was doing in the back. As far as my section goes, I'm gonna take a parallel section to what was cut underneath, comb that hair out of the way, now from here, I wanna leave this front long. So I can already see I'm going from this is the short, so this is the long. If I need a guide around the front, I can go through and pull one of these sections out and say, okay, let's cut it about the chin, and say, okay, that's my section I'm cutting to, this is my section I'm cutting from, so when I angle my fingers, I have a general idea of the angle that I need to cut. So I'll take the section, hold this, straight out from the head. There's my hair underneath. I have a general idea of the angle that I need to cut. And I will go through from short to long here in the front. There is my piece I was cutting to, and that's not looking too bad. That's looking pretty good. Pull this out, there's my line underneath. A nice broad razor stroke to keep my line very, very soft. I'll take my next section parallel and I'll just continue this until I run out of hair. Give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, and the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai Academy content. So I'm gonna cut this side here a little shorter, especially around the front. So I want that instead of coming into here, I'm thinking I want that to come a little shorter and then come through to my long piece about in the middle of the head. There's my short piece. Cut that through. Now about at the ear, I'm gonna get a little longer in the front, but not a whole lot on this first section. Continue on, take a parallel section to my previously cut section and follow the guide from underneath. Looking pretty good. now. With this type of shape, I have a lot of variations of the way I comb it because I have one side that's long and if I want something very kind of emo, I can comb everything from the short side over to the longer side. Or we could also comb the long side over the short side and because it's shorter underneath on this side, it's going to allow that hair to kick out and pop differently than if that side was really long too. So it works on both ways. Let's go through and blow it dry, and then we'll talk about it. I'll comb it back and forth a couple of times to loosen that hair up so nothing gets kind of stuck down, and then go through and just fine tune that as much as I can or until my patience runs out or my next client shows up until I get it just perfect. All right, that's looking pretty good through there. I think you need a little bit of product to kind of gel you in, but 
as long as it's clean over the ears and in the back, you can really have a nice conservative looking shape that doesn't have to be just a short back and sides with the top cropped short. You can have a little bit of length. So for some guys that have a little bit of curl or a little bit of wave, you can kind of fluff this up a little bit or you can comb it over to the other side and kind of have that pumped up a little bit. And with this short side, it'll all look really, really short. So this is a very, very versatile shape that gives you a lot of options. I think you're looking pretty good, bro. Thanks for checking us out. Please check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great information on there that will make you a better hairstylist and barber. Also, let us know what you'd like to see in the future, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much. Yeah.